you know, usually or oftentimes we see major healthcare legislation dealing with the problems that uninsured people have or uh, people with government coverage have, but this legislation deals with a major problem for people with private health insurance. That's what makes this bill different. Different. They're reading, I mean, they're reading things. You've got the people that read your stuff. You've got what happens when you, the patient, wind up getting health care from somebody who's not in the network. Um, if the insurer and the provider can't work it out, you get the bill. And those bills can run from several hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. I don't want anybody coming back later and going, oh. go. No. So the legislation, if it works, as advertised, will take the patient out of the financial crosshairs. And the insurers, the hospitals, and the doctors, they are the ones that are going to have to duke it out. And I don't know. Yeah, we, we kind of go. And they're all different. They're ready. I mean, they're reading things. Even. Where does this problem come up? Mainly it comes up when you go to the emergency room or when you have an out of network uh, provider involved in a procedure at an in-network facility, or when you want to see a particular doctor and that doctor is out of network. Those three big areas and air ambulance, those are all addressed in the legislation. So it's not like nibbling around the edges. It's, it's you know, taking a big bite out of it. There's single payer supporters who, who like this, and there's free market people who like this because, you know, basically it, it addresses something that just a lot of people thought was, you know, fundamentally unfair.